Hello, everybody. This is uh, Philip <laughs> calling from Switzerland. Hi, Philip. Hey. hey, how are you guys? Doing well, thank Great, you. Thank you. Wonderful. First of all, congratulations to your latest movie, Wish. Um, I like it very much. It was emotional. It was uh, funny. Um, it was was uh, thrilling uh, on some point. Um, yeah, I like it. Thank, thank you. you. So, um, uh, Wish tells the story of Asia who lives in a kingdom. Their wishes can be made to the king which uh, may one day be fully filed, but uh, with her modest, modest wish, Anna, Asia triggers a revolution because something is wrong in the kingdom. So for what did you particularly like about this story? This story talking about what happened when you, when you realize you have a wish in your heart, right? a passionate one, that no, no one wants to listen to. And, and um, we lean into the fairy tale structure of it all. We want to create a new original fairy tale. And they always have this um, struggle between the good and, and, and the evil. Mm -hmm. and, um, and Asha is a character who once she realized there is something wrong in this world, she embarked on this journey to, mm -hmm. to write that. But she's a kind of character that I can see myself in. She's um, energetic. She loves her friends and family. She's just a regular teenager that one day realized <laughs> the, the, the mountain she has to climb to go over that and have to find the courage to take action towards her dreams. And her dreams is a, her wish is a generous one. Her wish is for everybody in Rosas to be able to reach the true potential of, of their own imagination. I think we're really okay. excited about that. Chris, you co-wrote this story. Where did the idea coming from? Idea came from um, originally knowing we're doing the 100th anniversary film and we wanted to do an original story, original characters, original music, uh, but we hadn't had, we didn't have the concept yet. And so we pinned up a frame from each one of our films and put it on one bulletin board so you could see 100 years of all the Disney features right there. And what was great about it, you could see this common thread through many of our movies, and that was a character wishing on a star. So that, to us, that was like, that, that was the, the true north. That became, the, the wish was the most um, uh, kind of exciting concept for us. But we'd never done one where your character wishes on a star and the star actually comes down to Earth mm -hmm. to help. So that was fresh and yep. new for us. Absolutely. And that was how many years ago when you start that um, thinking about that story? It was about five years ago. Okay, okay. Um, I'm asking because um, the, the topic of having desires and being suppressed is more topping than ever these days. How do you see it? Or the um, having a wish and having to pursue it, you know, has always been in the Disney DNA. Mm -hmm. We reach for that mm -hmm. from our legacy of the films. And I think uh, the audience can connect to that because at some point in your life, you know, those people that's telling you that your dreams is impossible or, you know, why try? Like the world is, <laughs> the, the, the world is difficult. So we want to tell a story of how in those moments you find the energy within yourself to pick yourself back up and, and continue to go towards your dreams. And one of the interesting things is yeah. that um, Asha's story is actually inspired by Walt Disney himself in that Walt, Walt's creation or desire to make Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, you know, nobody really believed that, believed in his dream. He, you know, he had to pursue sort of on his own. He saw this, you know, this sense of entertainment that uh, people would love, and he believed in it, and and he followed that passion. So we we looked, you know, back to that for Walt for um, for that inspiration for actually Asha's character and the story. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so the look of the movie um, to me it has some very modern aspects and some very traditional animation aspects. What was the idea behind the look of the movie? Yeah, to make a film that celebrates 100 years of Disney animation, 
uh, we look to the very beginning to films like Snow White and Pinocchio. Mm -hmm. And those films has beautiful moving illustration sense, mm -hmm. right? Watercolor mm -hmm. illustration storybook. Mm -hmm. And we thought, would it be fantastic to be able to go right into those set in a, a mm -hmm. three-dimensional way, in a way that was never been done before? So we incorporate CG technique in a way to celebrate our technologies of today and the artists that are working there today. So we combine these two together. It's done in CG, but it evokes the feeling of a hand-drawn, beautiful hand-drawn animation. Okay. Okay, so what's next uh, for you guys? Is it a frozen tree, maybe? <laughs> it's vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, when you work on these movies for this long, it, uh, you really do need a break and it's, it's time to recharge. And, yeah. um, and we're living in this moment that Wish is about to come out in the world everywhere. We cannot wait for the audience to get to experience the magic, the music on the big screen. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a tradition to watch Disney film and during holiday seasons and mm -hmm. yeah. So excited that this time, the time has come. <laughs> so thank you so much, uh, both of you, for your time. Um, it was a pleasure talking to you. Uh, I cross my fingers for uh, a big success uh, for that movie. And I hope I see you soon for another one. Thank you thank very you. much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.